guys, it's Claire from CDB Eventing here. Guess what time it is? 4.15 a.m. And that means it's eventing o'clock. I'm so excited. It's our first event since last year, obviously. Um, and it's my first one since my ankle reconstruction. So it's a bit scary to see how it's gonna hold up, but I'm so excited. Um, we're just about to crack on with the day. I need to get my three in, in from the field. Um, and do as much as I can on the yard before we have to go. Um, if you're wondering where I am, I'm actually in the yard bathroom because it's the only place with good light at 4 a.m. So yeah, anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> I'm saying it so precisely is that I'm very very happy and proud because we were about to leave at six and we're just about to leave and this is, whoops and it's the first time in like ever that we've actually left on time I mean when we haven't left yet something might delay it something might delay us for five minutes somehow but I'm it's it, I'm happy I'll, I'll take it um Sandy is on board I'm going back to bed I'm in my pajamas Luna you coming to bed you coming to bed Come on. good girl um, yeah, I think the journey's about an hour and a half there, maybe not even that long, so things are looking good I'm, and I'm really excited. I'm going to go over my dressage test, although I might sleep. Mm. Not sure which. We are now at Goring Heath. Um, I'm just about to walk the course, it took us a lot longer to get here than we expected, which is really sad because we're on time. Anyway, got my crutch, off to walk the course. <laughs> walking the course and I kind of feel like I've gone the wrong way. Everyone else was walking the 100 and I'm walking the 105 and I've sent there were loads of people and suddenly I'm now on my own and I'm in the woods <laughs> and there's like fires over there and over there. Is this how I get murdered? <laughs> okay. Let's just keep walking with my crutch and my dog. Course is cool so far it's not it's seems kind of like a novice course to be honest Lena, i just clicked at my dog but i'm really excited it's quite big like it's quite beefy for a 105 and it's really technical but it's fun <laughs> Toppy. naughty okay so it's now 10 almost 10 30 i'm getting on in like five or ten minutes um i'm pretty much ready sandy's just having a massage with a massage pad i did my hair it's pretty, so I'm happy about that. It'll look a lot better with a hat. Um, yeah, I'm just going to tack up and go for the dressage. is over um i'm not like, static as you can see but i've been like rationalizing why i'm upset and um it's not rational <laughs> sandy's just fresh and he's unbalanced and i couldn't really keep him in the arena very well i mean i could but everything was just kind of everything felt very tight um didn't really do a medium trot what else happened 
that's kind of it. I don't think it was very accurate either because I was wiggling everywhere. Um, it was fine, but you know, he hasn't done a test in six months. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Because you know, you always just want it to go well, don't you? And then you envisage it going well, and then it doesn't go so well, and it's just like, eh. but yeah. We've now got a two hour wait, so Sandy is chilling on the lorry. He's got his fan on and got his tainet. <laughs> we are gonna go grab some food quickly and then come back, chill, and then get ready for show jumping and the fun parts. Dad and I have had something to eat and now we're just watching the show jumping so I can learn the course. What do you think of the course, Dad? Oh, this banana jump. dodgy bit of the vlog because I'm really f peed off. I just had my show jumping round. I, this is before I've rationalised it so I'll be fine in a minute but in the spirit of showing you guys the real, I am fuming right now. I really need to calm, not fuming, I'm frustrated and upset, not like angry. I don't, I don't know, it's a weird emotion. Sandy didn't do anything wrong. Um, so we, we've just had our show jumping around. Sandy didn't do anything wrong. Um, I messed up a couple of fences, which he cleared anyway. <laughs> I just took an extra pull, basically. Um, but he was really, really good. He spooked a lot at one of them for some reason. He doesn't like striper poles, apparently. But he went clear. And But as I went in, ev literally everyone is getting time faults today. But as I went in, the last person was just coming over the jump the, their last jump and they had that down and then the woman rang the bell instantly and I was like what like I was literally at the other end of the huge arena so I had to like gallop up there but I wasn't quick enough and I got four time and I wouldn't mind if it was like five time or three time but four obviously goes on your record and it looks like a pole which I know again doesn't matter because when you know <sighs> I know this is stupid feelings right now, but it doesn't help. I can't stop it right now. You have to feel these things. You, I can give myself five minutes to feel as annoyed as I want about stupid things, and then I'll be all right. My dressage was also 37.5 or 37 or something like that, which, is, which also sucks. Um, but again, I can kind of rationalize that. I think why I'm so angry now as opposed to the dressage was that I feel like that was kind of I can see where that's coming from like that was kind of deserved not in a nasty way but in a this is the beginning of his education way and he's not uphill and he's not balanced and you know all of that it wasn't the best test either so like I get that um like I wasn't overly shocked by that but I didn't it's not like I went slowly in the show jumping either like I had a good punchy canter but it, that's why I'm annoyed because I feel like Sandy didn't deserve that. And I'll be fine in five minutes. I just have to feel all these emotions before I get on for cross country because right now I'm not in a good mindset. I have tampons next to my head this whole time. For God's sake! Oh, let's just get on with it. <laughs> tampons. <laughs> Okay, I'm feeling bad now. That was literally less than five minutes. I think I just needed to rant about it. Someone got 47 time today as well that we were watching and they had a run out. No, they had a stop, but then they did a really tight circle and did it again. It's not, it's weird. They've checked, because they've changed the rules as well, haven't they? I just don't like the fact that it'll go on his record as a pole. That's what's irritating me. But these moments, are why, like the dodgy moments that we had in our show jumping, i.e. me pulling at a fence too hard, 
Um, this is why we did a 105 rather than a novice for our first event back to get us in the swing of things. And Sandy being green and, you know, stuff like that. So I just feel a bit mad about it now. Deflated about it. I think it's because you put all these expectations in your first event of the season and obviously you get so excited about it and everyone gets so excited about it. And then if it doesn't quite go to plan, and also bearing in mind all these people that are going like double clear at intermediate and winning advanced, in their first advance at the first event of the season, and it's social media, isn't it? And like, one of my thoughts was genuinely, like, oh, I have to post about this on social media afterwards, which is a stupid thought. I know it's stupid, and I know it doesn't, I know it's irrational, but those are the kind of thoughts that actually like really get you, aren't they? What is that? Why is that all bunched up? Did you see that? That's a hairnet. Oh my god, how long has that been in there? That is hilarious. Right, on that note, let's go cross country. <laughs> such a good boy like oh my god he saved my ass a few times they were just I'm just I doubt myself when I see a long stride and then I kind of looking at it and I'm like it's quite a long way off there I'm in the wrong place people keep looking at me um when I see a long stride I'm kind of quite a long way off and then I doubt myself so then I leave him to it and bless him he still takes it just without me kicking which is not good, but he's awesome. He was so good, so good. And I think we went kind of fast too. I don't think we got the time because there were lots through the woods and it was a bit, I don't know, I didn't want to go fast on it, but he was unbelievable. I'm so thrilled. I'm being brave and vlogging in front of people. It's a lot scarier than you think it is. It's stupid, but it is. I'm never going to see these people again, so I'm just going for it. Um, our after cross country routine firstly consists of um, me walking him round for a long long time. I don't just jump straight off him and put him back to the lorry and like ice his legs then. I take it, we take his boots off and then I walk him round probably for about 15 or 20 minutes. You've got to remember it's not just like the, the main structures and the legs that we need to look after, it's also his general body lactic acid obviously has a huge build up during cross country um, so you've got to walk that off or they'll be very stiff tomorrow and sore um, yeah so that's all we're doing for the next like 20 minutes is just walking and walking and walking and walking he's already caught his breath I think <laughs> I've only just caught mine um, but yeah off on a walk <laughs> Hey guys, so we are on our way home from Goring Heath now. Oh my goodness, I look like a panda. Sandy went double clear. He did a dressage of 38, which is actually considering the section, it was kind of midway through, even like slightly towards the better end. So I'm very happy with that. It's not as bad as it sounds, which is great. It doesn't look good on his record, but whatever. Um, I'll pretend not to care. Show jumping, obviously he went clear, however he had the full time thoughts, which was really annoying. But actually looking back on it, um, I trotted twice, like literally like a couple of strides, but I wasn't kind of revving him the whole way around because I, I trotted to change leg twice. So it is, you know, I think as well as 
the really long time it took to get round uh, to the first fence. Um, like I definitely went over the time of I think it's what was it 30 or 40 seconds for you to start. I don't think it's even that long. I can't even remember. Anyway, yeah, I think I went over the al the allowed time um, between the buzzer starting and you jumping the first fence, which obviously would give me time faults. And also, I did have a couple of trots. Um, again, like I said, literally like two strides just to change leg um, because I was going for a confidence building run rather than kind of like winging it round as it's our first one of the season. And also, you know, my big goal isn't Goring Heath. It's badminton so I'll do a couple of transitions if I need to um yeah and cross country he was mega he was so cool we got some time faults we got 18 time faults um so I kind of not well it's, I'm not annoyed about but I need to figure this out because I didn't go slow I didn't think I went slowly oh wow that oh that makes me look so red that's horrible uh, cross country is something that I've got to work out I think it's me collecting him before Combinations, no, there's like, I just need to figure out my cross country pace, I think, and learn how to ride at the cross country pace and not take too many pulls um, into combinations. I'm a bit of a control freak like that, it's, an, it's kind of like a nervous tick. If I get nervous, or if I don't see a stride 10 million strides out, I go, Oh, take a pull. He had like a midway dressage and a double clear at his first event of the season, which is fantastic, and I'm so thrilled with him. Um, Luna is absolutely exhausted over there. I'm exhausted. Dad, are you exhausted? No, let's go again. Uh, please no. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're on our way home now. Sandy is buzzing away in his ice guy boots with some cool gel and stuff on. Um, it doesn't look like he's picked up any injuries, but obviously if he did, it's probably too soon to tell anyway. Which is a really cheery thing to say, isn't it? I'm trying to be really, like, trying to be positive. That wasn't meant in such a negative depression. Depression? pressing way um, but yeah I'm gonna go now because I'm going to sleep so goodbye for now <laughs> home now it's like eight o'clock i slept the whole way home so i did the dog um and sandy's just having his dinner and then i'll pop him out into the field i'm just gonna do night check now and check all of the horses all right guys i am just about to head home now Woo! which has been like a 16 hour day, something like that. I got up at 4 a.m. So it's been a long time. Um, yeah, we're just about to go home. Sandy has eaten all of his dinner, which is brilliant for him because normally he gets a bit stressed and leaves a bit, which he did all of last season. But touch wood, he's seeming to not get back into that habit again, which is amazing because it means he's nice and re relaxed. He is in the field now, so he can walk around, get rid of all that lactic acid, and hopefully come in with beautifully slender legs tomorrow morning. I'm going to come back down tomorrow and go into the river with him because I'm a mug. No, because he needs, well, it's really good for cooling his legs and also it's good for my ankle. It means I can go in with the water above his hocks and he can just stand there and it's better than any ice and any cold hose that you could possibly do because it's really fast flowing water. Anyway, I'm a bit deliriously talking now because I'm so tired. So I'm gonna go home now. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the vlog. Please comment what you would like to see next on my channel. And if you liked this video, give me a nice little comment down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up and please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much guys. See you next time. Bye.